see the other truck behind us too. Yeah, I, think. I love uh, this kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, the thing with this job though is always changing. You never get stagnant. Never the same thing. Every call, medical call is a medical call, medical call, sure, but there's always something different. We're going to a medical call that came in as a code red, which means that there is potentially uh, a violent crime. The update we got was someone possibly stabbed in the neck. We don't know if that's what it is or not, but um, that's the, as much information as we have. So, we're on the way. But if you just calm yourself down, I think a lot of the time guys try to rush. You're like, oh, nine seconds, that's no time at all. So you rush. But uh, it's actually more time than you think when you break it down. Reasons why I wanted to become a firefighter. There's many reasons. When I was uh, finishing high school, I didn't know exactly what I wanted, but I know I wanted to kind of do something that was pretty much helping the community or help or along those lines. So either paramedic, firefighter, or military. And for myself, uh, I joined the military first, and then I served about eight, eight to nine years doing the military. But then I got, then I got re rerouted back into firefighting because I wanted to be closer to home again. It's a great job. It's a well-respected job. I wanted something that my son, because I have a kid, wanted him to look up to, you know, so it's pretty much it, just helping out the community. I really like to help people. I like to help people. Um, I, I, I just think it's an important thing that we do in, in life and in society is help people. So I looked at different careers or where I could help and what I could do for my community and it, and it was firefighting. And that's I think at the end of the day that helping people is, is basically what we do. You know, are you a team player? Uh, are you willing to uh, trust others and be trustworthy? It, it comes down a lot to the type of person, type of characteristic that you have, the type of character you have as a person. And, uh, that's what I like about it. It just gets right back to it. bare bones. Are you willing to do what you need to do to keep yourself, uh, your team within your crew, and the public out there safe? You can't really see exactly what we do. I mean, it's not realistic when you show the inside of fire scenes. That's not what it looks like. Um, but if you took someone into what it looked like in a real fire, it's so dark, it's so hard to see, like it's hard for us to see, right? You'd never get a good camera angle on it, and then it would seem boring, I guess. I'm trying to make it look like it's a huge hero kind of job, and flames and fire everywhere, you know what I mean? So yeah, they do that for the effect, for money, I guess, for Hollywood. But I, I think they do touch at home with some of the other stuff too. If you watch some of the movies, like the camaraderie between the, the crews and stuff like that, you do get to know the guys you work with really well. To be honest with you, the firefighting is, uh, it can be sensationalized within itself in the real life. I mean, it, it's a pretty neat thing. Uh, some of the calls we get to go to and, and some of the things we do. But I think sometimes TV kind of dramatizes it or, you know, just makes it sort of not true, I guess. But it is a sensational job. Yeah, they kind of crunch all the bad calls into every, every hour. It doesn't quite happen uh, like that. Um, we do get into some bad calls, but uh, they definitely sensationalize it. Someone that this is what you want, you know. You can't waver. Say, well, I graduated university with a, a general history degree, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to firefighting school for a year or two, or whatever program you take. No, don't work that way. It's got to be in you. 